Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine. Um, I know some of y'all have been wondering about the procedure I had. I'm a lot better. Today was the first day I went back to work. I am on light duty. It was a 12-hour shift and it was really tough, but I am a lot better. Thanks for everyone that prayed for me. And I'm going to address the community post that I put about the girl Nicole she uh, came on my page and left a horrible message, and y'all know how I feel about bad comments. Um, but I wanted to post it so y'all, so she could see that I I still saw it because she posted it, then she deleted it, but I can still see it. So that's why I made a copy of it, a screenshot of it, and I posted it because I'm not letting her get away with that. Okay, I'm not letting her get away with that, and I want her to know. I want her to know. I'm serious about everything I said. She comes back to my page, she's going to regret it. Okay, anyway, <laughs> and that really pissed me off. So, um, I'm going to do a glimpse into June, and I'm probably just going to do half the, I'm going to do all the signs, but I'm going to do half now and then half tomorrow because it's late and I just got off work and I'm tired. So, I'll do as many as I can right now. So, we are going to do a glimpse into june for each sign i'm protected by the blood of jesus nothing can harm or touch me i am i only allow my spirit guides that god has appointed to me to come here and give me information i do not accept any demonic spirits here in my mind body soul or speech in jesus name i pray amen i use the tarot cards as a tool to give you information i've been a psychic tarot card reader for 30 years and yeah there you go so the first one we're going to do is Cancer, Zodiac sign of Cancer. Show me what, oh, look at that. Okay, Cancer, I see in June you're going to get some kind of news that you've been waiting for. This is the Page of Wands. This page is standing here. He's in very deep thought. That's what the blue means, very deep thought. And um, this poll represents messages coming through. I'm seeing a message through fax, phone, email, um, yeah, text message or something like that. The page always brings in good news. So if you're waiting on some type of message, it's going to come through in June. Okay, remember this is a glimpse into June. When June comes, I will do those readings for the months. Um, this is just a small glimpse. Um, yeah, I see the number three here. For some reason, I'm seeing the number three. So if that's significant to you, then I'm sure you'll know what it is. I'm also seeing a little bit of travel. Be careful when you travel because we will be in Mercury retrograde as of May um, 29th. So be careful when you travel because May um, 29th is when retrograde starts. And when you travel, you, things break down, like your car will break down, things like that. Um, if you don't know what Mercury retrograde is on my page, the very first video on top is about Mercury retrograde. Go watch it. Okay, so that's for Cancer. This is just a glimpse into June 2021. Show me Pisces for June 2021. Give me a small glimpse for Pisces. June 2021. What do you see for Pisces? Zodiac sign of Pisces. Give me one card. All right. So we have the High Priestess. Okay, Pisces. I also see that you're waiting on something, um, some kind of answer. Um... But I see you're having a little bit of self-doubt. So this card is here to remind you to go with your intuition because your intuition is right. So if you're doubting a situation or doubting yourself or something that you've been thinking about, but you're in doubt. See, there's a lot of blue here. The blue represents deep thought. Okay. But the high priestess is here to remind you that um, your intuition is correct. So whatever it is that you're struggling with in your mind, Go with your intuition because you're exactly right, Pisces, okay? Whatever that situation is, you're exactly right, okay? I will do the real, uh, or not the real, but the full-length ones in June. Towards the end of the month, and for June, I will do those towards the end of the month. Scorpio, this is just one card, one card. Show me what you see for Scorpio for May 2021. Give me a small glimpse for Scorpio, May 2021. What do you see for Scorpio? May 2021. Okay, so Scorpio, I see that you're waiting on money to come in. Um, this is the horse. Horse always brings movement. But you see the horse is standing still. He's not really moving. He's just looking. 
and so is the writer. But you see he holds a coin in his hand. And when you get this money, this money is going to really bring in a brand new day for you. Yellow represents a brand new day. And you're in deep thought because the writer is wearing blue. And you're very passionate about getting this money. But it's moving very slow. This is slow moving money. So whatever it is that you're waiting on, you might have to give it a little push. You might have to make some phone calls. You know, ask about it. Don't just wait for it to fall on your lap. Because sometimes that just don't happen that way. So the message here is... is Whatever money you're waiting on, give it a push. Make those phone calls, ask about it. You know, don't be afraid to ask. Maybe you're wanting a raise, don't be afraid to ask for a raise. Or whatever it is you're waiting on, it, give it a push. So this horse can get moving, okay? All right, Scorpio. Did I say Scorpio or Pisces? No, that was Scorpio. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, next, we're going to do Earth Signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We're going to start with Taurus. Taurus for the month of June 2021. Okay, Taurus, heavy. Oh, this is the Ten of Swords. I see that you're carrying a heavy load, Taurus. This is. Uh, I'm seeing an Aries Leo and Sagittarius. If you're with what uh, Aries Leo and Sagittarius, that's putting all their burdens on you. You need to put some of these wounds down. You see how the man is hunched over. He's in deep thought. There's the blue, and all these wands represent everything. They represent home, family, life, love, work, relationships, everything. But there's too many can't carry them they're heavy on his shoulder so he's bent over all right so i see other people as well well maybe an aries leon sagittarius is putting their burdens on you too you can't take care of yourself and the others too you got to put yourself first okay and so i see someone spending your money um cut them off okay i see a workload that's too heavy i see that your job is giving you too much responsibility that's not even in your job description and you're not getting paid for so maybe you need to talk to your boss about that but whatever situation it is could be a friend lover or whoever they're putting all the responsibility on you and and you're so tired you can't carry it and you feel maybe you might be feeling guilty because you feel like you're supposed to do this no you're not you take care of yourself first don't let other people put their responsibilities on you i see someone spending your money cut them off okay that was taurus taurus june 2021 this is these are just small glimpses okay virgo zodiac sign of virgo oh virgo look at here virgo you got a player coming back in <laughs> you have an ex coming back in virgo and it's an aries leon sagittarius as well mercury retrograde does bring exes in so yeah this is for the first part of june i see an ex coming back in they're only coming in to see what they can get out of you they want, you know, whatever you were giving them before. They're not getting it from the other person. So they want to see if you could get it. They, you can get it. they can get it from you. Either money, drive your car, place to stay, whatever. Okay, that's all they're interested in is, is what they can get out of you. So do not let the ex come back in. Because as soon as the Mercury retrograde leaves, they're going to leave right with it. Okay, they won't stay. Also, this card represents small trips. Again, be careful during Mercury retrograde taking a trip. I see a short trip, a quick trip, maybe on the 3rd of June, because I've seen that number three here. Um, you are protected by the stars because the salamanders represent that. But be careful because we are during Mercury retrograde. This is going to be a fast trip, a quick trip. You might meet the ex during this quick trip or something like that. All right. Um, yeah. All right, Virgo. So be careful with that. The next one will be Capricorn. Y'all, these are quick, quick and short for right now. And then I'll do the full ones towards the end of the month. Please like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Tell your friends about me. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the email down below and I'll get back at you. Okay. Um, next, what did I say? Capricorn. Show me Capricorn for the month of June 2021. Show me Capricorn for the month of June 2021. Give me a glimpse. Okay, so Capricorn, I am seeing someone that's going to propose. Now, these are different types of proposal because there's money up here, and I am seeing the number three. But these two people are getting married. They're forming a union. Um, this is also a baby card. So if you don't want to get pregnant, you might get pregnant. So be careful with that. Um, I am seeing a celebration. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So this is you, okay? Um, Pentacles represent Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I'm um, seeing also other proposals as well, like uh, maybe job offers that's going to bring you the extra money 
or some something that's going to bring you extra money that's going to be a proposal someone's going to propose it to you or it could mean a real proposal from a lover or something like that but in any event this is a good card to have so just be watching out for that okay capricorn so i did my sister cancer scorpio Toro, capricorn let's do aries leo and sagittarius Show me the zodiac sign of Aries for the month of June 2021. Oh, look what fell out. Man, that fell out real quick. Okay, Aries. This is the Ten of Pentacles. I'm seeing that money is coming your way in June. I'm seeing that it's going to be from, uh, could be from an inheritance or old, I call this old money because you see the old person here, then they hand it down to this person and then they hand it down to the younger person here. The money is floating all around. So that means it's money coming from different places, you know, different people. It could be an inheritance. I'm also seeing material wealth here, material gain. So maybe someone left you a home because there's a home in the bag or left you a car that's going to be worth money or left you an object that's worth money. So check everything out because I do see that coming in for you. Um, this is a card of prosperity. So... You know, check everything out that involves money that's coming your way. I do see that in June, okay? That was Aries, for Aries. Let's do Leo. Show me a small glimpse for Leo for June 2021. Show me a small glimpse for Leo. Oh, Leo. Look at that. Okay, so I, I'm seeing, again, um, heartbreak for Leo in the month of June. I am seeing that there is a third party that you're going to find out about. Um, maybe your partner is cheating, or if you don't have a partner, it could be a friend that's going to do you dirty, stab you in the back with a third party, someone you don't really know about. Um, so I'll be looking out for that. I see crying and just depressed about this. Anyone that's doing you like that, just leave. Did I say Leo? Yeah, I said, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, this person is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, so watch out with that, because if you're involved with one, they're most likely going to bring heartbreak to you with a third party. This is for Leo, June 2021. Now, don't get all upset and everything, because at the end of the month, I'll do the full reading, and I'm sure more about this will come out, okay? So this this is just a quick one, okay? Aries, Leo. I'm going to do Sagittarius next. Show me. That was quick. Sagittarius, I see that luck is on your side for the month of June. The genie's here ready to grant you a wish. This is the nine of cups. All these cups represent good things in life like money, home, job, relationships, love. The genie is really thinking about giving you this. So you're going to have a small opportunity in June to make your wishes come true. Okay, be very passionate. The genie is very passionate about giving you whatever you want. So whatever opportunity comes your way, look into it, okay? Because this is a small opportunity in in the month of June that's coming your way. You're going to, you know, you might be wanting a home or, you know, a new boyfriend, girlfriend. Just be careful. Don't sign contracts during Mercury retrograde. Wait till it's over and then sign the contract, okay? But you are going to get lots of offers. Here they are. They're coming your way, okay? The last four are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I might, I hope my phone don't die. I haven't charged it all day. Give me Gemini, small glimpse for Gemini, June. <laughs> Same thing, Gemini. I see heartbreak. And then um, I see if you, whoever offered you this cup of love broke your heart in June. Okay. Um, yeah. Po postponement in love. Um, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or another Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but I do see a postponement in a marriage love or something like that because of a third party. So Gemini, watch out for that because there is some type of heartbreak coming from a third party, okay? Libra is next. Show me Libra for the month of June. Small glimpse. Libra's month of, month of June 2021. What do you see for Libra, June 2021? Give me a small glimpse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have a postponement again for Libra. This is the Four of 
of wands. Uh, I'm seeing that there's going to be a delay. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. But if you're planning on getting married, I'm seeing a small delay in June that something's going to be postponed due to maybe the caterer is late or can't get the food on time or the place that you were going to rent is suddenly booked and they're going to have to redo your date. Um, something like that. Uh, it has to do with marriage because this is the marriage card. You see the people getting married and they're celebrating. But when it's in the reverse, that means postponement, delays. So there is going to be a delay in June if you have something like this planned. Um, it could be with the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So just watch out for that and, you know, try to work on that as best as you can. Okay, more is coming. Like I said, I will do the full readings for each sign at the end of the month for June. These are just small glimpses to give you a heads up about what might happen. Remember, if it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay because this is general. It's for everyone. So if you want, want something that resonates with you, email me and we'll do a personal reading, okay? Aquarius is the last one. <laughs> Aquarius, it looks like that you've been sad about something in the past or the recent past, but it looks like you're getting over it because I do see heartbreak. Um that you did experience but now see this is the the card of depression heartbreak maybe you created a self-imprisonment in your mind crying about it but now it's passing so in june you're going to be in a much lighter mood if you know someone that's in jail they're going to get out if they're in rehab they're going to get out if you've been sick your health is going to improve this this card represents all of that okay better things are coming better days are coming aquarius so you know stop being depressed stop being sad because all that's going to pass this is passing energy so in june you're going to be a whole lot better all right if you know someone that's been in jail they're fixing to get out okay or rehab or whatever <laughs> all right y'all i'm going to end it here again i'll do the full readings for each zodiac sign at the end of of may for june and that's it thanks for watching y'all don't forget to like share and subscribe Give me a thumbs up, that helps my channel, and hit that notification bell so you rem be reminded when I upload another video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.